Tilla, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch. We are live. By the time you see this, we won't be. So just leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Let's get into this, man. You see it above me, man. A little warning just in case and things of that nature. Uh, we also got Patreon.com where we post five days a week. Uh, we got through Game of Thrones Season 1 in like a week. And I already got a couple episodes of Game of Thrones Season 2 recorded. Just ain't dropped them yet. <laughs> uh, don't forget we also got Twitch.com. Links. Not the link. The username is on the bottom of the screen, man. That's where you can catch any of the live streams and things of that nature. Um... Can't pay, we'll take it away. Season 5, Episode 8. Talk to me. Copyright, copyright disclaimer, disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. No copyright infringement intended. All rights belong to their respective owners. I hope this is negative. In England and Wales, over 400,000 county court judgments were issued against consumers during the first half of 2016. The total value of these debts was £829 million. When did this show stop recording? 2016? Is that recent? We was watching it when it was 2009, right? 2000. During the first half of 2016, the average value of county court judgments against... Co Bro, who do you think is reading this? Albert Einstein? Like, slow down. Against consumers was, okay, 1800. Accrington, Lancashire. Lancashire. Stuart McCracken is on the road with colleague Ian Taylor. Definitely about to be negative. When you see Stuart as the first person, it's negative. I mean, they couldn't the wait. Accrington, Stanley, who are they? Exactly. The agents have a writ to collect over £5,000, owed to a business consultancy by Mr. Janaid Arsan. How much does Mr. Ashard owe today? £5,344.80. Alright. As Stuart and Ian arrive at the address, they spot a vehicle parked outside the property. They certainly are parked outside. If Mr. Arsard can't or won't pay, the agents have the right to seize any of his assets, including vehicles, to cover the debt. Hello. As the front door is open, Stuart takes the opportunity Hello. to make peaceful entry. Hello. Yeah, that equals negativity. You know what I'm saying? I know it's lawful and it's a peaceful entry and things of that nature, but like, imagine. Hello there. Um, we're after Mr. Janed Ashrad. Are you able to get him on the phone? We're high court enforcement agents. Sorry. We're high court enforcement agents. Are you able to get him on the phone? Is it not possible if come back? Uh, well, we're here now with an active high court writ, you see, so it is important you try and get them on the phone. I will try to find it. Please, that'd be great, thank you. What a nice home. But it doesn't even live here. When we get told that the defendant's not here at the moment, we've got a high court writ to execute, which means that we'll be doing it in their presence or not in their presence. It's entirely up to them. But I'd rather <laughs> speak to defendants and try and get the matter resolved. He don't be the no woman facial is the expression. debtor's wife. She tries to get her husband on the phone. Yeah, we'll clean that phone back. Yeah. All right. Well, at the moment, we've got a high court writ, which means that we all have to take control of goods, you see. But then a man appears in the hallway. Hello there, sir. My name is Mr. McCracken. We're High Court Enforcement Agents. We've been instructed to execute a High Court writ for yeah. Mr. Janed Ashrad right, to collect a balance of £5,344. 
We haven't received any letters from yes, where you have. we come from. Right. And if I received it, I should go to get back to you, but mm. we haven't received any letters. Mm. A letter has been sent. I don't really live here. My wife, she lives here. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I haven't, nothing belongs with me. Right. We're starting off on a bad foot. You know what I'm saying? Your wife said nobody was here at all. You weren't here right now. You don't really live here. So that's a lie. You're not on the right track right now. Do you need to try and raise some funds, sir? I mean, this I is Stuart. It appears the debtor, Mr. Arsad, has been in the house the whole time. But as he claims he can't pay, Stuart turns his attention to the car parked outside. Okay, so who, who owns the vehicle, sir? My wife. Have you got any documents to prove that? She, she's got the documents. Brilliant. Unless Mr. Arsad's wife provides proof she's the rightful owner of the car that, and not her husband, the agents have the right to seize it. Is that a Skechers car? Y'all know the shoes Skechers? I know they make cars. That's the symbol, ain't it? Last thing people want is a vehicle being removed. It puts them under immense pressure. Nobody wants to be losing their car. We do want to see cars outside houses because it gives us the leverage that we need to try and get a payment. But then, Mr. Arsad's brother-in-law arrives at the address. Hello there, sir. Yeah, boss. You know she's got disabled children. Right. Okay. What is it, regard? We're here, sir, with an act of high court writ. So the enforcement is at this address. Everything belongs to you until proven otherwise. While Mr. Arsad's wife and brother-in-law look for proof that she it's owns that the negative. car, Ian goes outside to clamp it. A Leon. We don't have anything about Yep. That's just insurance. That's insurance, buddy. Yeah, anyone can be insured in a vehicle. We need to see a sale or receipt. No, I don't have the look with me. He doesn't even drive, he doesn't have the no. license. I haven't got the license, it's not my car. So it's my wife's car. Yep, yeah, but we need to see some documentation, as I've already said. So I'm going to give you 30 minutes to try and either A, raise funds, or B, I'll be ringing recovery. Okay, so use this time wisely. The balance is £5,344. When we do our job, all the time we hear that the goods don't belong to him. Uh, Stuart is on a, on a mission. I, he ain't trying to hear none of that. <laughs> Not today. But because we've got a high court writ for that address, it's up to them to prove to us the goods don't belong to the What's defendant. his name again? It's Stuart, right? We're five seasons in and I don't remember his name. He ain't just said and it. And if they can't do that, then that's when we start taking control of goods. We need to see a sales receipt for that vehicle. But it's my sister's car though, so how does that work right now? Right, how did you pay for it? Did you pay I cash? Give it, I, I give it the car. Mm -hmm. It's a stalemate. But then Stuart spots a bunch of keys. Just going to do my worst check on the vehicle, mate. Oh, sorry, he's took my keys. And ramps up the pressure. We've managed to get hold of the keys that were hanging up, so I'm just going to do a quick vehicle check before we're in recovery for it to be removed. But Stuart's actions haven't gone unnoticed. Father, why don't you take a key off that? Because it's my sister's shit. The key at the moment, sorry, has been seized. She's got disabled children. Yeah, but at the You've moment, sorry, the car's been seized. You've not come to the car's been seized. Yeah, but we need to see some documentation for that. She takes him to the hospital. Let go. Let go now. No. Let go now. The man tries to take the keys from Stuart. No. Let go now. That's my sister. Yeah, let go now. You picked him up. I don't need to let go. You do. I don't. You do. I don't. Listen, man, you don't. Take your hands off me now. Where's your no, I've got them on my key. No. I've not got my hands. Remove your hand now. I've or got my off hands. on the place. Do, 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 do not touch me. Do not touch me. I'm not touching you. Do not you. touch me. I'm not touching you. Touch your hand is touching me. Get off me now. Get off me now. I'm touching the keys. Get off me now. All of a sudden, you've got a family member that arrives that just throws the whole pitch out the window, really. You've then got a secondary battle to deal with by Cam. It's human nature for Big Bro to defend his sister. And his nieces and nephews. Like, it's human nature. It's the first thing he's gonna do. But I, under I feel like Stuart understands that. Like, it's, 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 the in it's in you to do that anyway. And down other people in the family. I won't say it a third time, sir. I'm touching the keys. Yeah. At the moment, the car's been seized, sir. Get your hand off me now. Get your hand off me now. Get your hand off me now. Do you not understand what I'm saying? Yeah, I know exactly what you're saying, but get your hand off me now. Thank you. This routine job has taken an unpredictable turn. With tensions rising, will Stuart and Ian be able to resolve this case peacefully? Yeah, that's the script I like to hear. Unintentional turn. You know what I'm saying? 
something that's unexpectedly happening. That's the script that I like. You know what I'm saying? High court in for We don't need to be a subtile. She's got to go. That's my sister. Yeah, like going now. Became volatile. She's got to get your hand off me now. I don't need to be And block the exit. That's all I'm saying. You need to leave that I'm door open. I'm here for my sister who's got yeah. disabled children. You need to leave that door no, open. You are. Right, right. phone the police, Liam. You yeah, call the police. Yeah, will do. I'll call them now. It's false imprisonment. You need to open the door it's now. It's not false imprisonment. Of course it is. Of course it is. Course it is. False, impri false imprisonment, mate. On 999. Open the door. When somebody tries to lock the door on us, it shows that they're trying to control the situation. They think, right, I'm going to take matters into my own hands. The problem that we've got is it's false imprisonment. It's a legal issue then. We then have to think on our feet and think about the security of ourselves and the people around us. Open the door. Oh, Open no, the door now. I need immediate police assistance, please. Yeah. Stewart's call to the police forces the brother-in-law to back down. Leave that door open, thank you. No problem, thanks very much. Right, the door's open. We would need police assistance for breach of the peace. A few minutes later, the police arrive on the scene. Certain neighborhoods, police be there in a blink of an eye. Other times, I've seen them wait an hour for the police. <laughs> Morning, officers. Thank you very much for your time. We're falsely imprisoned. Yeah. When they realise we're phoning the police, they've, let, they've opened the door and let us back out again. How many is? Two of you? There's me at the moment and my colleague in the hallway at the nice. moment, but it seemed to calm down. So I, when I phoned the police, I said, look, we don't need you now because I don't want to be wasting police five, time. Five you sure? Yeah, Brilliant. Mm, with the great. police present, the family finally starts to cooperate with the agents. I have not been rude or out. No, no, it's fine. Man. I'm just doing I'm it not, for my sister. You've got to do what you've got to do, mate. Say, I understand that. She's got to say about two that. This debt thing, that's going to No, I understand. She's working on it. She's saying, can she get that an hour? It's at the moment. We can give it to 11 o'clock. Well, nobody wanted to get them handcuffs put on them and put in, 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 in that vehicle. So that's no, 30, no. 25 past 10. No, she should have this one. All right. But while Mr. Arsard's wife tries to raise some funds, the defendant comes up with a surprising offer. Can we give you a not money and anything worth of 5,600? What do you mean? It's like gold or something. Mr. Assad is offering to settle the debt gold? with the family jewellery. Oh, wow. I've never taken gold before. It'd be a first. Oh, don't take the car. It's not worth anything. There's loads of gold over there. The family's prized possessions are at risk, but for the agents, Seizing jewellery is not a straightforward job. When we're offered gold, we don't know how much it's going to be worth. We don't know how much it's going to get. Plus, if we do remove goods, the storage is... fees and auction charges. So we'd rather deal with a payment there and then. She's in tears in there. Oh, she's Family happy. heirlooms, you know. With Mr. Assad's wife upset in the back room, his brother-in-law makes the agents an offer on his sister's behalf. She can pay you half, no problem. She can sort 2,340 out. Yeah. I've got that, I can sort it out for her. Mm -hmm. But then what? It needs to be the remaining balance, mate. It needs to be the full balance. God, That's yeah, why we're here. Stuart. That's why we've got that. Yeah, it's a good Yeah, but you've also admitted to us there's gold in the house. So we can take control of that as well. Mr. Assad's brother-in-law leaves to try and raise the funds. As a High Court Enforcement Agent, we're there on behalf the of somebody else way. who couldn't get the money from the defendant. So our response is always the same, and that's we're here to take control of goods unless you can make payments. It's as simple as that. Minutes later, Mr. Assad's brother-in-law returns to the property. Well, I'll count that out now. And makes a cash payment in full. So he's had all the money 40, the whole time. 49.50, so that's 500. So that's five grand now. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm not gonna lie, up in $5,000, no matter how much money you got in the bank, is gonna hurt. <laughs> if you got under 100K in the bank, up in $5,000, it, 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 it hurt a little bit. You know what I'm saying? But if you got like $105,000, all right, we'll take it. I still got a hundred, but if I got a hundred thousand and I up five thousand of a payment like immediately, well, damn, I only got ninety-five thousand. I ain't a six-figure man no more. I'm a 
five figure man, and that just don't hit the same. You know what I'm saying? I get it. I'm not even a five figure man, so I, I don't know how anybody feels when it comes to that type of energy. Three hundred and forty-four quid. Yeah, that's. There's your receipt. I'll give you my my business card now. Don't take the clamp off, mate. I'd be blue. With payment made, Ian takes the clamp off the car, and the case is resolved. Paid in full in cash, five thousand three hundred and forty-five pounds. That's why I don't it, borrow it money. It shows you if you start applying a bit of a pressure, which we did, um, uh, money starts coming from somewhere. Great result. Research by a leading housing charity reveals that nearly half a million young adults across the UK rely on their parents to help them pay their rent. Adults aged 18 to 34 receive in total £850 million from their parents Dang. each year to help with housing costs. I get it, but over a third of parents in the UK have come under financial pressure as a result of supporting grown-up children. Wolverhampton, West Midlands. High Court Enforcement Agents Matt Highway and Gary Ball have a writ to collect almost £9,000. I don't think I like them. Owed in unpaid <laughs> rent by they Mr. Look, John Nichols. They too We've got. Uh... The dynamic don't hit. Like, y'all both ball headed. Like, who's going to play good cop? You know what I'm saying? Two ball headed people is both going to be bad cop. That's what I feel. Got to be a ball head. Got to be a, a full head. You see? It's the dynamic. Um, a debt of £8,972.30. The landlord has escalated the case to the High Court, and Mr Nichols must pay the £9,000 debt today. Getting close with the Ford in the drive. The car is an asset they could seize if Mr. Nichols can't or won't pay. Hey, you're not a doorbell? Hello there. How you doing? Uh, can I speak to John William Nichols, please? Is it work, is he? Yeah. Okay. The debtor's wife and her son are the only ones at home. They were the High Court writ today. Can you get John on the phone? Uh, yeah. Have a word with him. Thank you. I want to speak to you. Oh, is that John? Yeah, speaking, yeah. Hello, sir. My name's Matthew Highway. I'm a High Court Enforcement Agent. Yeah. I'm here at the property with a High Court... They don't got $9,000. Something's going to have to give. I see it early. Rit today. Yes, sir. Are you aware of this? No. Are you close by? Not there. I'm six in the moment. Can you get back here then, John, and we can have a look at this and see what the situation is? Yeah, I should be able to get back. It's clear the agent's visit has come as a shock to John. But his wife knows exactly why Matt and mm. Gary are here. Real swings. Was a guarantor. Oh. Was my daughter. Oh, I want a house. Oh, right, wow. okay. She just didn't pay the rent. Oh, right, okay. Cause it's a pretty substantial amount of money. It's, um... About £5,000, I think. No, it's yeah, not. It's more like about 8000 no. Oh, no. Unknown to John, his daughter stopped paying her rent over a year ago. As guarantor, it's John and not his daughter who is liable for the debt. That's crazy. What can we do about it? We need to, you need to pay, is what the long and <laughs> short of it. It's a bit of a situation, isn't it? It's made Dad liable for a good chunk of money, hasn't it? Being a guarantor for a family member is especially tricky uh, because you, you know, you're, not, you're not thinking with your head, you're thinking with your heart. But then the implications of when it unravels is devastating for a family. There's nothing worse than money to drive issues within a family situation. While they wait for John to return, Gary runs a check on the vehicle in the driveway. Um, can you do a HPI for us? Cheers, buddy. Thanks, mate. Back in the house, John's wife has her daughter, Charlotte, on the phone. Ooh, they're cursing Charlotte out. <laughs> Come pay your debt. I haven't got any of that. Let's change it on. Let's talk to you. What's that going Hello, be? Charlotte. Hello. Can I not do a payment plan with you? Charlotte, it's not you on the writ. It's your father. 
anything, anything, yeah, anything we have to... Yeah, what are you to... going to tour? I'd rather do a payment plan than you taking all my dad's stuff. Yeah, the claimants obviously took your father to court, so we'd have to sort out anything between us and him, not yourself, you see. You've left him in one hell of a predicament, haven't you? Yeah. Well, the only reason why I didn't pay the rent is because they didn't bother coming out to fix all the fucking... all the problems. Oh. That's... that's a myth. Why do people think that? That is not real. Oh man, there's so many problems here, but I'm not, I'm withholding rent. That's a myth. Get out. <laughs> if there's so many problems, leave. Go get another place. Take a punch back to your mother. Okay. It's not a real Regardless thing. of Charlotte's dispute with her landlord, the agents are duty bound to collect the nine thousand pounds they came for. It's a crap with the car. Free of finance. Although the car in the drive is free of finance, it's only worth a fraction of the nine thousand pounds John owes for his daughter's unpaid rent. It's just a Ford. What they gonna do with that? But then the debtor returns to the house in a much more valuable Range Ooh, Rover. Okay. Oh no. John. John, do you want to go on the drive? I'll move the car the way if you want. No, I'll leave it. John. John, do you want to go on the drive? I'll move the car the way if you want. No, I'll leave it. You all right, yeah? What the hell John got on a Confederate flag hat for with a skull on it? What are you are in the UK? Why is this type of energy being <laughs> exuded? We should be checking. Maybe. What do you mean, maybe? I've got no eight gun. I've got football. Okay. Yeah. Damn, they just gave him the key. John is fed up. The agents now have an asset they could potentially seize. Wootsie. Appreciate the follow. But John doesn't seem to want to negotiate. He's packing his bags. He's packing his bags? Yeah. So what? Yeah, John? John? What the hell happened, John? John is fed up with this the life he's living, period. He came home, gave the key, packed his bags, and left? What is... Do you want to come down, man? Have a talk about this. Put you in the picture of what's going on. You can have to two cars. Okay. I'll do the car, kid. They can take the two cars. They've got the money. They can go. Simple as. I'll be at this, this time. Because I'm gone. As soon as these are gone. Right. I don't know. Somebody shit on me from a great fucking night this time. It's not it's not your wife that's done this to you, is it? I don't know. Let's not let's not get angry with these two in here. Can we solve There's it? No way can we can raise that money. Alright. Whatever it is. I've lost the shift now. Rather well, than getting all hyped up, all angry. Start I'm angry. I'm just start shouting at your missus. It's not it's not gonna get us anywhere, is it John? No, but if you have the two cars, I ain't gonna pay no more. Debts or whatever now. Gosh, it's not finished. I'm out of here. Yeah. Now, it's happening more and more often now that parents are acting as guarantors for a debt. We have to enforce the writ. In the same instance, we need to take into account the family, you know. You, you, you're putting a bomb in the middle of a family and exploding it from the middle. Minutes later, one of John's granddaughters arrives at the house. Is this the one that owed the money? Oh, no. Oh, that's the shit. I'm going. Uh, the claimant is taking John to court personally. The long and short of it is you've signed to say that if she doesn't pay the rent, you will. That's what you've signed, unfortunately. Yeah, I understand that, but now he was telling me that I was paying the rent. Mm. Why hasn't anyone gone to Charlotte's first? Charlotte's not named on the rent. They ain't got the money to do that. I can't believe she's done that. With John unable to pay in full, Matt... I mean, don't be blinded by her being your family. You knew Charlotte before you... before. You know Charlotte. Has she exhibited this type of behavior before? This nonchalant, I don't... It is what it is. Not my problem behavior. ...throws him a lifeline and reduces the amount he has to pay up front. They normally work on 50%. You're looking about 
the agents give John an hour to try and raise more funds. Wait, hey, John. In a bit of a problem at the moment. Charlotte forgot to pay rent for about 15 months. As family and friends arrive to offer support, John's oh, close to breaking point. What's this, a fucking freak show? Every fucker's turning up. Yeah, them too. Ransoms? Oh, yeah. Must be a bastard freak show. Fucking hell, where gets around, do it? Sorry, John, I'm sorry it's come to you, mate. You know, it's a victim of the circumstance, aren't you, unfortunately? As John continues to try and raise some money, Matt clamps the Range Rover, ready to seize if John is unsuccessful. Hello. Back in the house, John's granddaughter calls Charlotte to see whether she can help pay off the debt she has accrued. She hasn't got it. She says she can only get £300 on Friday. Oh. I knew that she would. I've told her time and time again. She's, she's getting to us. Come and speak or pick the phone up, phone the person up, explain. They'll listen and they can sort it out. We meet these good, honest people who have got themselves into one hell of a mess with debt. Having a debt is embarrassing to people, not only to themselves, but the community they're living in. It's really hard to see, especially when they're, you know, they're trying their best for, for their family. John's time to raise some funds is up. Yeah, John is fed up. John, John is at his maximum breaking point. Despite his best efforts, he hasn't been able to £4,500 the agents have asked for. Matt has been left with no option but to seize John's Range Rover. But to make matters worse, it's added an extra cost to John's debt. OK, John, I'm going to call recovery truck then, mate. Just so that you're aware of what that means, I'll take the outstanding debt to £10,826.30. pence. Yeah. i have got a job for you, mate. OK. Just to pick up and go. Well, it's a Range Rover. It's an ill daughter, ill Charlotte. She ain't even show up. <laughs> she ain't even pull up to the house or nothing. Uh, wow. And it's been seized with keys. OK. But there's a problem. Valued at £4,000, John's Range Rover won't even cover half the debt. As it's getting late, Gary asks John to call the office the following morning to set up a payment plan for the rest of the balance. I'll give you this letter, mate. Yeah. All the details on right. Office number's there, my number's there. You need to call me. Sorry, John. I'm sorry it's come to it, mate. You know, you're a really nice guy and your family are really great as well, but, you know, it's... Unfortunately, she's just dropped you in it, hasn't she? 20 minutes later, the recovery vehicle arrives. I felt particularly sorry for this chap. I could see that the guy was a grafter. His one sort of luxury in life was his Range Rover, and that's what he'd spent his, his hard-earned cash on. He's losing probably what is his pride and joy uh, over a debt that's, you know, not of his making. It's an ill daughter. That's all I can say about that. I don't even deserve that. Matt and I understand y'all got kids, man. Don't 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 do that for your kids. <laughs> don't do that for your kids because let me let me tell you how your kids think. They think you're an ATM. And they think your money doesn't matter. Oh, they'll figure it out. Don't do that. Have the same attitude for them. Oh, they'll figure it out. Me. On the other hand, I'm gonna have my daughter right. You know what I'm saying? Ain't gonna be no, oh, she'll figure it out. <laughs> Cause I'll have had it figured out for her by the time she gets to there. And then I'll be coaching her on the way to that life, to regular life. You know what I'm saying? And nevertheless, my daughter, before she move out, she'll have an 850 credit score. <laughs> At least 70, ba the 70 bands in the bank. Like, she gonna have it. 100%. And she might be a lawyer doctor. Who knows by the time. You know what I'm saying? Gary have got the result they needed in a sensitive situation. But in Stuart and Vic's next case... Hold on, I'm gonna fucking balance. Hold on now. Hold on. 
But young people may have to... While cash-strapped young people may have to rely on their parents to pay their rent, families with young children are also vulnerable to falling into arrears. In the first half of last year, nearly a quarter of families who sought help for their debts were in rent arrears. Seven a.m. Autumn, Lancashire. Well, it's getting dark now, isn't it? Yeah, I teach you, man. It's real game. It's real easy. If you're responsible with your credit cards, right? Even if you're not, you when you have a child, you have to pick one. Like you don't have to, but this is what I would do. You gotta pick. You gotta get a credit card. Make her or him an authorized user. And that's the one thing in your life, the, the second thing, because your kid, now this credit card, you have to be fully responsible for it. you got to pay attention. Whatever things you use cash for normally, just put it on that card and go pay it off at the end of the month. Or at the end of the week if, you, if money burn a hole in your pocket. It's simple as that, man. By the time she turned 18, she'll have 18 years of, an 18... 18 year credit line in good standings. Never miss the payment. Like, you know how much weight that holds? Come on now. Get her one High or two of enforcement oh. agents Stuart McCracken and Elmore Victor are back on the road to collect a £6,000 debt. We're going to visit Miss Natalie Brennan this morning for the outstanding amount of £6,622. The debtor, Miss Natalie Brannan, owes the money in rent to an ex-landlady, and Stuart and Vic are here to collect full payment today. Right, here we are. Oh, that big houses, mate. Right, let's go. Stuart and Elmore. Okay, Stuart. If Miss Brannan can't or... And the crack of dawn? ...won't pay, Stuart and Vic have the right to remove assets to cover the £6,000 debt. There's no answer, but Stuart notices movement upstairs. Hello? We're after Natalie. Are you Natalie? Uh, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm happily pregnant. Right, OK. Right, well, we're High Court Enforcement Agents, Natalie. We've been sent here with regards to an outstanding... Wait, is it the crack of dawn or is it nighttime? I didn't hear the time they said it was. They probably didn't even say it. But I don't... Some, the UK be confusing me. Balance. On the time of Are you day. able to come down, Natalie? Because we need to get this sorted. I hear birds. It's dawn. Seconds later, Natalie's partner, Wayne, comes to the window. It's all right. She isn't coming fucking nowhere. You want us to come round the back and have a chat? Come fucking to you, not back of the property. You think you are? I'll stay here. You're the bella. You think you're big. You think you're untouchable. What do you mean untouchable, sir? I'm not your I'm fucking a... son. I said, sir, maybe if you came down to the door, you'd be able to hear me. No one's going to answer. Nah, there we go. Yeah. You think you are. All right. You don't know nothing. Listen, you just better go. I'm telling you now, job or not, go. It's something that we expect on every job is people to be obstructive. We're not there to be welcomed, we're not there to be accepted with open arms, but we have got a job to do. We have got the High Court on our side, and we are like a dog with a bone. Nothing's going to deter us, and we will stay there until the end. Despite her partner's hostility to the agents, Natalie seems to want to... My bad, I'm zeroed in. I hear negativity and I got to focus, you know what I'm saying? Talk. This was a house we lived in. Mm. Right. It had a septic tank, which I won't even go into the gory details. Yeah. Living in a house with mice and being trying to <clears throat> Natalie has been in dispute with her previous landlord. Well, you're she lost. claims she withheld her rent because of the condition of the property. Once again, that's a myth. So don't be don't withhold that rent, I'm telling you. You're gonna be in this situation one hundred percent of the time.
Basically, there's been a TC joint issued against me, and I'd sent my defence over on the date they asked. They said that they hadn't received a defence when they actually had. County courts have made a mistake. Basically, what's happened is she's transferred it to the High Court. Natalie claims that when she tried to appeal the case, the County Court mislaid her statement. But the writ is still active, and no matter what the circumstances, Stuart and Vic are duty-bound to enforce it today. What do we do now? We need payment. Simple as that, Natalie. The agents have been at the property for over half an hour when Natalie's father turns up at the address. You all right? You know my daughter's two weeks off on the baby? Yes, we do, yeah, she we told do. us. What do you need today to go 6, away? 6,600 pounds. Well, no one's got that, so yeah. yeah. Do you need to go away and see what sort of deal you can come to? Well, we, we, we can do it now. Why would we have to go away? How can you not go away if, if you're not going to get 6,500 pounds? Because it isn't 6,500 pounds. Well, what can they raise? They yeah. can't raise nothing. I'll try and give you something. Natalie has spotted her father from the window and doesn't want him to make the agents an offer. Her dad lived that close in an eyesight range? He just Fun. walked. Dad, okay. I'm no chance now. Natalie, if you want us to go, that's the only way we're going to go. We need some sort of payment. Dad? All right. You'll have a family member that's received a phone call from the defendant. They're worried, they're scared, try to protect the family, which is completely understandable. But nine times out of ten, a family member will come like a bull in a china shop to make matters worse. Minutes later, Natalie's partner, Wayne, comes out of the house. Here we go. Oh, yeah. You see what I'm saying, though? Y'all can't, can't see him. Hold on. Look. Look. He's bald-headed. He's coming with all the negativity because there's nothing to keep it on. There's nothing to keep... The anger inside of his head. So it's just out in the elements. I'm bald, I know. You know what I'm saying? You just don't have to be in front of you. We do, yeah. Rain. We don't. We do. We don't. We do. Where, where do we have to discuss the matter then? Yeah. Don't even know you. Don't want to know yet. But you're sir. nothing but a fucking bell end. Yeah. <laughs> so don't you? Every time the energy is on Stuart. <laughs> I'm told you, it's just something about Stuart that's just angering. Mm. Ah, a bully. Mm. And then this is their home. Of course, calm down. I'll go Get somewhere. the fuck away from the van. It's not even your van either. With tempers escalating, Natalie's father is concerned about his grandchild inside. Rain. 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 Spice, boy. Just go yeah. somewhere. Rain. I'll deal with it. I know you feel, but leave it at that. You're yeah. nothing but a cocky little shit. That's what you are. Put your hand on, aren't you? In what way, sir? Put your hand. In, what, in what way? Oh, sure, sure. In this job, you're going to get aggression. From you say you're hard in what way? What is Stuart talking about? Some people. But at the end of the day, we are trained in what we do. Being calm and controlling with the situation ensures that you will not be intimidated. You act like you know everything when you fucking don't. Imagine you rent the house with a kid, pregnant, shit everywhere. One month's rent, it and, and they're here for six and a half grand. Couldn't yeah. even live in a house. It had the set of time we wasn't told. Mm. They don't not know. To do you like you should just need to yeah. do your... In a house. Couldn't even live in that house. It had a septic tank. We wasn't told. If it's a house, it has a septic tank. If it, if it's, if you live anywhere, there's a septic tank. What do you mean you weren't told? You don't know that? Where do you think the boo-boo go? Straight to the River Thames? Like, no. Come on now. You've had the set of time we wasn't told. Mm. They don't know. To do with you you, you should just need to yeah. do your job. Or yeah. this is wrong. But she has done the right thing. Most people put their heads in the sand. The yeah. Human That's understandable. It. Yeah, exactly right. Upstairs, Natalie continues to insist that her initial appeal against the writ was mishandled and that the case has gone back to court. What is it you've sent to the court? I've got everything, I've got everything on email. She's a customer service man, she's not stupid, she's got all the paperwork and it's gone back to the county court. Customer service man. Mm. And she's waiting to hear from them. I'm 39 weeks pregnant. Yeah. Not feeling great to the pregnant. Yeah, no, I understand, yeah. You have to be some... Don't use preg... I, I mean, maybe you have a condition with your pregnancy, but like... 
I can't tell a woman how to feel about it. So let me let me slow down. But my baby mama at 39 weeks pregnant was cool. She was walking around, you know what I'm saying? Doing, you know. I feel like that's being used as an excuse. But I also can't say it's being used as an excuse. Because I, who knows? I don't know. I'm a man. And that's not my lane to be, be saying. But, you know, I'm going to say it anyway. Empathetic towards some with caution and respect defendants because they it might not be their fault they're in this situation yet we're invading their personal space in their home over something that they might not have inflicted upon themselves excuse me um, uh, you've got to show some emotion with regards to the job Stewart and Vic have been outside the house for 40 minutes without access to the property they can't look into seizing any assets to offset the debt. Given Natalie's condition, Vic offers a reprieve and gives her some extra time to try and sort out her appeal with the courts. We'll give you 24 hours. It's phone the courts, but you've got to give us a ring tomorrow morning and give us an update. Okay. Hey, Stuart is blue. He was, why would you give him 24 hours? Look at Stuart's face. Look, come back. Phone the courts. The courts. We'll give you 24 hours. Okay, 24, court, cool. But you've got to give us a ring Stuart, tomorrow morning and give oh us an update. God. Okay? Yeah, That's all we hilarious. can do now. Just try and get it sorted. All right. All right. All right. All right. Okay. okay. See you later. All right, mate. See you later. See you later. Natalie That's now funny. has 24 hours to sort out her case. But if she's unsuccessful, the agents will be back. Stuart really just be doing his job. Turns out kicking off, mate, and it turns out to be but right. like to the T. Yeah. He said to me, I'm sorry for calling you those names, mate, you know. So much to a T that it's annoying. <laughs> he's bigger than I thought. No, I, I can see he's a big boy. According Just because you big don't mean you got hands. Don't mean you can fight or anything. So tickets us, what's up? To the Bank of England's latest figures, the value of unsecured bank and credit card loans in the UK so is growing at its fastest rate in more than 11 years. Last year, consumers took out loans to the value of more than £190 billion, a nearly £15 billion increase in one year alone. In 2016, the average amount borrowed by UK adults is nearly 4,000. High Court Enforcement Agents Matt Highway and Gary Ball are in Hansworth, Birmingham. We've got a Ms. Livia Kervajova. And we're looking for £4,064.03. Quite a lot of money. Miss Kervajova owes the money to a credit company for an unpaid loan. Pull up on the left here, mate. The case was escalated to the credit company for an un... Miss Kervajova owes the money to a credit company for an... 4,000... Pull up on the left here, mate. 4,000. The case was escalated to the High Court, and Miss Kervajova must pay today. Hello there, how are you? I'm looking for Miss Livia Kervajova. Is that you? Yes. Hello, madam. I'm a High Court Enforcement Agent. Here with the High Court writ today. So there's an outstanding balance of £4,064.03. How much? Four thousand sixty-four pounds and three pence. Four thousand. Hmm. I don't have it for thousand. Okay. It's too much for me. Right. Okay. As I, I say, we are here with a high court writ. Does it allow us to enter the property? Okay. The writ commands us to either collect payments or to seize goods for the value. But I can pay uh, this all money. It's too much money. For you can't pay it. Is that what you're telling me? But do you need for yeah, pay? Four, yes. We're here for four thousand and sixty-four pounds and three pence. If that can't be paid, it does go up to £4,658.03. If we have to remove goods, it goes up again to £5,514.80. Damn! That's Possibly what we're here a to do. monthly payment? It's been through the county courts, it's now at the high court. Time for monthly payments has passed, I'm afraid. That's cap. 
He's lying to you. What was this for? Was it a loan, this? A loan that you had? I don't work because right. I'm sick. OK. I haven't managed just sick pay. Okay. You're sick and off work at the moment? Yes. Miss Kervajova, originally from Slovakia, says her loan was taken out to pay for medical care. Treatment is so expensive. All treatment I'm be must pay. Too much trouble because I'm pay for everything. My husband is waiting money for tax return. Right. I must first pay my rent. Mm -hmm. Well, no, you, you've got you've got that slightly wrong. Okay. This is a high court writ. We seem to be in a society now where it's so easy to take out the credit. And when things unravel for them, uh, they unravel big. That's one thing I don't do, man. Big time. I would not take out no credit. Like, the credit card, yes. But, like, a, a lender? Like, like what she did? Like, give me a lump sum of four? Nah, hell no. Nah, <laughs> uh, and, and actually all... Not unless it's, like, a business loan. You know what I'm saying? But personal loans... Not me, not me. I've done it when I was younger, but I learned my lesson. I paid them off, but like it was, it was, it wasn't worth it in the end. All these things around them, it's like a pack of cards. The whole thing just collapses inwardly. No matter what, we're gonna have to get some, some of this paid today. I'm having now twenty mm. pounds. My husband is be having seventy pounds. Mm. <laughs> Give him a ring. Tell him what's going on. As Miss Kervajova calls her husband, the agents look around for any assets they could seize. And they're in for a surprise. Cooker and a washing machine. Brand new. You're not working. Who's bought the cooker oh, and the washing machine? It's my uh, friend. But the agents are suspicious. Okay, keep so moving around. Keep there walking around. around. Because he is having a small house. Okay. So why are you buying? got a small house. Wouldn't they just deliver it there, take out the old one? Put the new one in because it's it's not long time stay in here. What, why is it even here at all? It's be better coming with my house because he is living a little bit too far. She lying. She's lying. Too far for the delivery yeah, because it's coming van. Okay. But when Matt delivering, let me tell you, let me tell you what was a red flag for me. I was waiting um, okay. to, to play out, but let me, t this right here, this speaker is a part of a, 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 is a part of more speakers, surround sound. If you ain't got no money, you shouldn't be listening, you shouldn't be listening in Dolby Digital surround sound. If you broke, listen from the TV speakers. Period. <laughs> what you need extra sound for? You broke. Chill out. But when Matt inspects one of I'm broke. I got iPhone headphones. I'm broke. The appliances more closely. It's been used. Miss Kervajova's claim doesn't seem to add up. Customer is Miss Livia Kervajova. Ah. It's got your name on it, madam. Gary goes Dang. into the kitchen to investigate further. You do understand your washing machines are plugged, don't you? In the kitchen. In there. In there, yeah. 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 yeah it's, it looks to me that that's been replaced because it's been pulled out and it's unplugged. And look, there's a brand new washing machine here. But it's not mine. I do enjoy the investigation side of this job. We have to search people's belongings. It's all part of the job. Whether it's in people's bedrooms, in the kitchen, in the living room. A we're washing machine is necessary. How these people are living and what means they're living by. I'll go through every drawer if I have to until I find what I need. Just put it in my name. So I'll oh, put it in your name as well. Oh, okay. I usually do that when I buy things. Put them in other people's names and get them delivered to someone else's house. I've never done that. Maybe put, like, it's in my name? Nah. I've never done it. I'm trying to think of maybe an instant, but nah, I've never done it. This routine job is not going to be as straightforward as it first appeared. Matt and Gary will have to use all of their tenacity to get to the bottom of this case. Tenacity. Matt Highway and rounded in her washing machine. It's mine. So far, Miss Kervajova hasn't provided any evidence that the expensive white goods in the house aren't hers. But before seizing them, Matt wants to give her another chance to pay. 
What can you raise, Livia? No. Not change. <laughs> about sixteen pounds. Not gonna make much of a dent, is it really? On four thousand six hundred and fifty-eight. Yeah, and uh, I don't know. Giving me four thousand pounds. Mm. This is my account. Although you are now eight pounds ninety overdrawn. Mm -hmm. Yeah, go look at look for the washing machine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you've actually had one thousand nine hundred and six pounds in your account this month. I have a question. What happening now? Okay. When I don't pay. I'm going to go around the property to see what I can seize in the property. Everything yeah. you take. It. Yeah. Everything of value. Take. So I suggest if you can make any phone calls, you you do that. Okay. And if it's your husband that you need to speak to, then by all means speak to him. Hello. Moments later, two family members arrive at the house. They showed up. Let me see. Go back. Sandals. Hello. Little no, t-shirt. White beater. Later, two family members. What's the Black Air Force One? Members arrive at the house. I don't see no wallets, no f telephones, no nothing. How are you? Yeah, Friend, are you? Cousin. Oh, cousins. It's my husband. Cousins with the husband, okay. Immediately, they try to remove the white goods. I know. They stay there at the moment. That's not, that's not moving anywhere. Well, she's my wife. She paid me money this month. Yeah, stay. The cousin claims the appliances are his. We're here to take control of the goods, so they stay where they are at the moment. I have to come back later. Right. It's got Livia's name on it, OK? That's Other family members are arrive at the house just as Miss Kervajova finally gets her husband Joseph on the phone. I thought he was there. Joseph, thank you. Joseph, hello. My name's Mr. Highway. I'm a High Court Enforcement Agent. I'm at your property today, sir, with a High Court writ for your wife. I'm commanded to attend the property today to either collect a payment or to seize goods to the value of. Now, today. Oh. I pass you back to your wife? Yes, please. I'll chat with Joseph. No, no, Joseph. With whom Joseph do it? I do it for 4,000. <laughs> oh my god. The agents have Would been you wait. I know he just ain't say I'm busy. What an ill husband. Folks said I'm busy. I ain't got time for this. That's insane. <laughs> The agents have been at the house for 45 minutes when Miss Kervajova finally makes them an offer. Half, no? Have you got half? If you tell me you've got half, I'll ring the client and find out. Ask it, ask it. Aspoň, aspoň polovičku. To ty dva tisíc. My husband is dry from in France. So giving me the half, half money with 2,000. But it's not 100% because he's let me know. Okay, don't. Minutes later, Joseph calls back. Hello. Who said I'm busy? I've got about only two and a half thousand. That's, that's a lot of money. As the couple can't raise even half the money, Matt decides to set them a new target. If you can get a thousand pounds by four o'clock, we'll stop enforcement action today and I'll organise to set up an arrangement for Livia going forward. My cousin will bring some money and my cousin misses bring some money. All right, good. How long will that be? I don't know, 10 minutes. And that's a thousand pounds, Joseph, yeah? I think so. Thank you. So if Joseph gets a thousand pounds, how much monthly going forward can you pay? Monthly? Mm. For me, possibly. Pay 150. My husband, it'll be giving some money, maybe 100. You can so pay 250 a month going forward. Definitely. Perfect. 
Just minutes from the four o'clock deadline, a family member arrives at the door. So what's there? Shall I count that out for you? We're halfway towards the thousand pound. So yeah, we're, we're getting there. I think the next lady's just turned up with some more money. It seems, you know, they've pulled together. Please stop. The family have managed to raise £800, but if the remaining £200 doesn't arrive soon... Nah. <laughs> the husband is crazy. Bro said, I'm at work. I ain't got time for this. I'm busy. But he ended up coming through. That's that's crazy, though. Do we even live with her? What's, what's going on here? <gasps> the agents will have no choice but to start seizing goods from the house. So we need to get to £1,000, yeah? We find in certain communities money is pulled from a numerous different families to pay off the, the problem that they've got. It tells us that the debtors have got that support system in place, that they're well liked, um, and that people are willing to rally around after them. Just minutes later, the last £200 is delivered to the house. Thank you. Uh, £1,000. Done, OK? So your balance now is £3,658.03. £3. You don't need to tell With £1,000 paid, it will take Miss Curvajova 14 months to clear the balance on her payment plan. That's not bad. Thanks, Olivia. Take care, OK? Thank yeah. you. After two hours on the case, the agent's perseverance has paid off. Reasonable down payment there for the clients. But more importantly than that, we've put the debt back on track. And I've got faith that she'll stick to it and she will get it paid off. Pretty good result. Alright. Okay. So she went from 250 to 160, which 250 was a crazy amount. Like, you were overshooting the mark, ain't you? Because of the court's technical error, which resulted in Natalie Burnham's defense not being received, the writ was set aside a day after in the ages. Oh, that's what's up. Okay. Salute. The claimant is now appealing. All right, then. TLL, leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post. I'm gone.